In this video, we'll practically demonstrate all the ways to open Discover projects, which were briefly introduced in the introduction to MPLAB Discover. As we go, we'll point out some of the workflows needed to efficiently use these projects as a starting point for our own development. The board that I have happens to be an AVR128DA48QRSD Nano, so let's search DA48 under Device to narrow it down. There's not much on this board except an LED and a button, so let's search LED under Description. Hovering over the descriptions gives us a tooltip with a full description. In this case, we are dimming a LED using a PWM signal. Clicking on the example opens the user guide. Scrolling down to the end of this particular one, we have a GIF which highlights what the example does. It's quite distinctive, so will be quite useful for us to demonstrate the project is running. If we add to our list, we can see we have all the different options here for this particular project. We can also download. And here you can see that this is an MPLAB X IDE project. Alternatively, we can open with MPLAB Express or open with GitHub. So let's open in Express. If we're not signed in, we'll get prompted to sign in with a My Microchip account. If you don't have one of these, here's the link to register. And you can see that the project is cloning from Git. That is done successfully and the project is now opening. So here is our project and let us run this. So make and program, build a successful, clicking on curiosity, saving and you can see that the project is running as expected. If I decide that I'm going to use this as a starting point for my development, we'll then follow the same process outlined in the next video, creating an empty Git repository, adding that URL as a remote for this project, then committing and pushing to that repository. We might want to open in GitHub and what we might typically want to do here is fork this project so it's in our repository. So from here we can copy this URL and then file clone git project. There's a warning to replace the current project. Then we enter our git URL, username and password. Cloning from Git. And here you see that we have the original project. So as mentioned, we cover Git integration in the next video.